Hello, OAISD. This is Ann Thorpe, and I'm going to walk you through some recent changes in the way Google has set up sharing. When you're going to share any of the Google elements, whether it's a Google Doc, Slides, Sheets, a Draw, the first thing you'll do when you want to share is come right up here to the Share button and tap on that button. That brings up your share options. In this area, there are three things that you need to know. The first one is right up here, and this is the most commonly used, where you will just simply type in the name of the person that you will want to share it with. In this case, I'm going to add Deb, my assistant, and I put her name in here. If you have notified people checked, it's great to put in a message. So I've put this information in here in a message. Notice right up here, I have the option of making Deb an editor to where she has the full rights to it, just like I would as the creator. I can make her a commenter, which allows her to add comments off to the right of the document. And last, she could be simply a viewer, depending upon the goals. If you want them to view it, comment on it, or have full editing rights. Once you have done that, you will send it off, and now Deb will get an email letting her know that I have shared this. And right up here, it tells me there's a person added. That's one way of doing it. The next way, once again, I'm coming up here to my share button. I want you to now notice, though, that when I hover over it, it tells me it's shared with one person. So I know I've already done my sharing with Deb. Let's take a look at some of the other options for sharing. Now you see here, Ann Thorpe, I'm the owner, and Deb is a viewer. If I decide that Deb and I are going to actually shift what we're doing, I can come right over here and change it to commenter or editor. Now in this case, she is not going to get another email letting her know that I made those changes. Then I would simply click save and it would then make her an editor. The next thing I want to point out is this gear right up here. This is where you actually change your settings with the people with whom you've shared it. So Deb has editing access. She has all the same rights I have. And when I click this gear now, this tells me that Deb can come in here and change any permissions. She can share it. She can add people to it. She could take people out if I add them. So this is giving her full permission to do whatever she wants. If I don't want that to happen, I simply want her input and feedback on it and her work on it, then I am going to turn this button off. This next button is allowing viewers and commenters to be able to see the option to download, print, and copy the document that you've shared with them. What are the benefits and what are the drawbacks? Well, the benefits are that if you are sharing information that's widespread and it's fantastic and people may want to keep it and hold on to it, then they might want to download it to their desktop. Some may want to print it to have a copy, a working copy. They can make notes on it or to put in a file. And then this last one is to create a copy. Now, if you are sharing some highly sensitive information or some confidential information, you are going to want to turn this off. That way, the only person who can do any of this, change sharings, add people, download, print, or copy is the owner and any editor. Notice up here, the editor is listed. Over here, it's viewers and commenters. So the editor can still download, print, and copy. So I'm going to leave those settings. When I click my back button, it brings me back over to my share area. And then the last thing I want you to notice is down here is where you will change your link to be other than restricted to individual people. Do know, however, if you click on anyone with the link, you have now just made this public. You have now just made this public. I'm going to say it more than once because I want it to be clear that this is now out on the public web. Even though you may say, 
well, I'm only going to give the link to certain people, it is still searchable, it is still public. Okay, so when you click anyone with the link here, this link right here is now searchable by anyone on the internet. So you want to be very, very careful with that. Let's go back to that sensitive information and high security again. If you're going to be sharing it with specific people and you want it to be restricted, this is where you will click restricted. Only people added can open with this link. And that is, for example, I added Deb here. So if I were to add Pete Johnson, then he would be able to open it with the link, at which time I would then copy this link. And if this link were to get out into the public, it would not allow anyone else to open that link. Once I finish setting all of my sharing, I will click done. And now I'm safe to let it go. Please, if you have any questions, let me know and I will walk you through it. We can practice this together.